the latissimus dorsi muscle, its origin, insertion, and actions. The latissimus dorsi muscle is the widest muscle in the human body. It is relatively thin and covers almost all back muscles at the posterior trunk except the trapezius. As we can see, the latissimus dorsi originates from several anatomical areas. Its tendon spans, proximal attachments, from the middle thoracic region, spinous processes of vertebrae T7 through T12, continues to the entire lumbar region, L1 to L5 vertebrae, and covers part of the sacrum. Next, the tendon of the muscle also originates, proximal attachments, from the iliac crest and, in some variations, parts of the posterior ribs, specifically the ninth to twelfth ribs. Additional variations in its anatomy, meaning this variant occurs in only part of the population, include an origin from the inferior angle of the scapula. Lastly, the latissimus also originates, proximal attachments, from the thoracic lumbar fascia, thus increasing its strength and impacting lumbar support during movement. The fibers of the latissimus dorsi move superiorly and laterally and insert distal attachment at the intertubercular sulcus of humerus, also called the bicipital groove. Its innervation comes from the thoracodorsal nerve, C6 through C8. The actions of the muscle include shoulder joint extension, adduction, and internal rotation. Since the latissimus dorsi also originates from the pelvis, it can create anterior pelvic tilt. Activation of only one side of the muscle creates a side flexion in the spine. To strengthen the latissimus dorsi, utilize shoulder adduction and extension exercises in different variations and angles, such as lat pulldowns, rows, and pull-ups. To stretch the latissimus dorsi, Place your arms on a chair with straight elbows and fully flex your shoulders. You can add side flexion in the trunk to emphasize one side of the latissimus dorsi more.